In this, in this social media world we live in, we're surrounded by motivation. You can't look anywhere without getting, getting a little bit motivated. My biggest concern that I have with caution is that the same, you can get the same trigger from watching a motivational video, listening to a motivational podcast. It triggers the exact same psychological response in your brain is actually doing the work. I see so many people that read a lot and they consume a lot, but they do very little. You ever watch more, like a video and you get all pumped up and you're like, all right, time to go home. <laughs> like you didn't do anything. You just watched the video, you didn't do anything. But I think at the end of the day, like once you've read all of these books, what's gonna change if you don't change? Absolutely nothing. And so for me, I think it's about the implementation of the information that's within those books. You know that, that old scripture, give us to stay our daily bread. Well, when God said that, he didn't promise to provide the bread and you would just sit on the couch and wait for it to get there. The intention was for you to go out and work, do your part and go out and earn it. And so the, the focus is like, it's, it's great to use motivation, but you gotta use the motivation to do the work. Not use motivation in place of work to feel good about what you didn't do. You ever have those days where you're like, how hard am I gonna have to work today to make it look like I work today? Like, legitimately, like, you, you see this all the time. Like, I gotta, I feel like I was busy today. Today was a busy day. Watched like eight YouTube videos, two podcasts. Um, had you know, lunch with a buddy of mine and he really just poured into me. But you didn't get anything done. There's no nobility in being busy. There's no nobility in knowing a bunch of quotes, unless you implement them, unless you actually put them into use. I think you would be better off taking one book, whatever that is, and really diving into it, like step by step and trying to implement the things from chapter one for like weeks. And then chapter two and chapter three and find books that are more like a blueprint or more like a roadmap rather than just reading one saying, ah, oh, that was good. I got a few good quotes out of it. A little different mindset change and move on to the next one. That's this totally other different concept. Most of these books nowadays, at least the good ones are based on these huge ideas and ways of looking at the world and ways of going about your business and changing your thoughts and all these different things that really it takes months to really implement anything to a degree to where it's actually gonna make a change in your life from that information. And so whether that's something that you found online, whether that's a podcast that you're listening to, like there's podcasts that I've listened to over and over and over and over again. I highly recommend just being cautious as you're, as you're surrounding yourself with positive stuff, which is a great thing to do. Just make sure that you actually do something after you watch it. You don't let the act of watching something positive be the act of doing something.